Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And coming right up for you, live top division action from the Pro League. I certainly can't wait for this one, Lee. Yeah, thanks, Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start. Be accountable for your own performance. But above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. So the initial 11 for the home side. I'll tell you what, you don't see this formation every day of the week. No, I mean, it looks very attack-minded with the three up front. The three in midfield supplying the width as well, but I'm a little bit worried about the three centre-backs. Will they get exposed in the wide areas? And introducing the visitors lineup today. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And they kick off here. What do you think we can expect to see from the visitors tactically, Lee? Well, I think they'll sit everybody behind the ball, out of possession, trying to hit the team on the break. Makes sense to me, to be honest with you. But you need to be very disciplined in your defending throughout the team if you're going to carry that plan out. Bruno Shadas. Surely! I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Marco Bakic. In position. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball, but then there's still plenty to do. You have to say it's a really nice finish just to guide it into the net. Lovely goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. Oh, lovely ball. Can he put it away? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here it is again, and he starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted, and it's a lovely sharp shot into the back of the net. Lovely all-round play. It's going their way, 2-0. Bandabash Beshe. 
Well, great read there to intercept. Hubert looks promising this might still be able to do a bit of damage can they get in behind them the cut back oh yes it's gone in and now a chance for them to revel in the moment Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. But then there's plenty to do from there. He's hit it so well. Lots of pace, lots of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. So there we have it, 2-1. And using his strength to shield the ball. Arlem Eddie Gnoere. Losing possession here. Mercier. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Oh, there it is! Unbelievable stuff from two down. They're right back in this. Well, as we see again, that's how to score goals. Get the ball into the box from wide areas. And that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. Well, as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2-2. Two -two. Getting forward. Arlem Eddy Gnoere. Oh, a tremendous block. Bandabash Beshin. Very quick thinking there. Well, that'll be a free kick. And looking towards the back post. And a bit short with the clearance. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Nuno da Costa. Bruno Jadas. Bakic. It looks promising. Can they take the lead here? Oh, he's given it. Penalty. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think. And the referee's making that absolutely clear. Oh, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking.
and the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here's the replay. How early does the keeper go the wrong way? It looks a simple penalty, but it's the deception, his body shape, that does all the damage for me. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Well, there is the half-time whistle, and just listen to the fans. It's one of the benefits, Lee, of being so close to them. The home fans less than pleased about that penalty decision. Well, they're making their uh, feelings known to the referee, known to the players. The players are obviously having a word with the referee as well. I'm not so sure it's a penalty from my point of view, but it's given. Now they've got to go in, regroup at half-time, see how they go on. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Gnoere. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Silvestre. Good looking ball. And a goal kick will be next. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, he's carried the whole team so far. They have let him down big time. Can they repay him in the second half? They need to all pull their fingers out. Hubert. Mercier. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And he's done it! Parity again! A magnificent game unfolding! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. But most of the blame has to be levelled at the goalkeeper. Your coach is a youngster to always protect your near post, and he just didn't do that and paid the price. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Gnoere. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Possession and patience, the watchwords. But it can't get through. Good pressure high up the pitch. And a strong tackle. Space afforded him. Couldn't keep it. Well, as we see from the stats, it's nothing to split these two teams up. It's been a brilliant attacking game. Defences are stretched on both sides. Midfielders created for both sides. And the forwards have had a field day, Derek. Crossing opportunity. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards.
Well, here's the replay. He didn't panic, did he? Decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike, really, but it's in the back of the net. Well, let's have another view of that goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Martins. Cross-fired over. And an effective clearance. Did well to win the ball back. Van der Bash Beshe. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Not a great pass. Nuno da Costa. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. Hubert. Well, he played that one really well. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. And it's gone behind for the corner. Time for a change then. And he's fired over the corner. Not quite what they were working on in training this week. Crisp tackling. Marco Bakic. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. This looks promising. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Beshe. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts? Well, there's no doubt they'll be disappointed. No points gained today, and that will hurt a little bit. I think the manager knows they weren't quite right today. They need to regroup and go again. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.